Oh look, we have a unicorn in the kitchen here with us this morning. I'm so happy you noticed. Yes, I noticed. So guys, welcome back to Alana's kitchen. Today, I'm gonna be throwing it down in the kitchen while Auntie Anna will be throwing it outside in the kitchen. Oh, you literally threw me out, yes. right? Um, I'm gonna make some cinnamon rolls, so I'm gonna bake today. And um, these are the ingredients. Mm -hmm. So far, in for the dough, we have four and three quarters cup of flour, mm -hmm. a half, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and two tablespoons of white sugar. In here, we have um, a cup and one fourth of warm milk with. Atiana says yeast, but we're gonna say yeast because we're english <laughs> around here excuse me i don't know where she's migrating to but um <laughs> hello i'm from trinidad okay yeah I i'm not okay <laughs> and uh it's like one normal pack of the yeast which is wait like... wait wait we have abnormal yeast <laughs> <laughs> so it's a quarter ounce of yeast all right yeah. guys you guys know what she means mm -hmm. <laughs> okay and then um okay, this is warm we also have white sugar in here mixed also. How much sugar did you put in the... Just a teaspoon of white sugar. Okay. And then for the wet ingredients, we have a half a cup of stick butter. Mm -hmm. Wait, and this is what? Uh, salted. The salted butter. It okay. could be unsalted too. Okay. And two eggs. And we're going to use a teaspoon of mixed essence. Okay. And for the frosting, we just have the regular cream cheese frosting which i'm gonna mix with confectionery sugar mm. so you let that get to room temperature the yeah how much what is the contents of that container it's a, a pound 16 ounce right yeah which is a pound okay so we're gonna whip that and so in tribute guys to st patty's day i know it passed just a couple days ago alana is gonna glaze the cinnamon i think you're gonna do some plain and some you're gonna yeah, glaze I'm with the green and we have some sprinkles also we'll put maybe if you decide to put it or yeah. not yeah and then who knows we might start yodeling in the end of the day <laughs> and get the kill tone and, and all those things <laughs> on the bagpipes i can see that happening all right so you're gonna start now putting in all of your ingredients and whatever yeah all right so you do you still have to let this bloom yeah absolutely. so the yeast have the yeast the yeast. yeast the yeast has to bloom alana has corrected me for she's right 10 minutes it normally takes about 10 minutes okay for it to bloom in the warm milk yeah. right all right, all right. So I'll show you guys when she starts putting everything together into the cake mixer, and we're using this attachment today, which brings everything together when you're kneading flour, like pulling like a dough together for bread or anything. This is the attachment that we Pirate use. Hand. Yes, it's like the hook. Mm -hmm. All right, Miss Unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> so since Alana has thrown me out of my kitchen, it's Alana's kitchen today, not Anna's kitchen. I am gonna go outside because it's a beautiful day today again the sun is out and i'm gonna go out in the backyard and roast these beautiful eggplant baigan balanje however you want to call it i'm making some baigan choker that's what it comes down to i have all of my ingredients here i'm going to roast the baigan with the garlic in it with a little olive oil wrap it in some foil wrap and roast it outside on the flame bring it in and I'm gonna need some flour to make some nice little oil roti. Or maybe we should make let grandma make that roti. She makes a nice roti, oh, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. We'll get her we'll get her involved in this project you, today you also. You know when grandmas can cook the best when they have that nice chunky arm. Yeah. They get real good. <laughs> yeah, so I'll ask her to make the oil roti actually. We'll get her involved in this project. So it's all girl girl power today. Mm -hmm. All girls. Alana is doing something. I'm making a dish and grandma gonna make some nice oil roti, little oil roti. She makes the best little oil roti. I can't wait for the happy oh yeah Aiden would like just plain butter and roti and everyone loves bacon choker yeah, in this house I can't wait are you gonna have roti you're gonna have the crackers yes, with it that's what I'm breaking my fast with yeah so I Alana has been fasting also again um we are fasting Alana is fasting for the month of Ramadan and uh you want to say anything to the Muslim community also uh, happy Eid, mm -hmm. Ramadan Mubarak, everybody. I hope everybody has a lovely month of Ramadan. Yes, no, fasting and stuff. Yep, getting closer to God, yes. everything. It's a very holy month. Mm -hmm. and, so. and Lent is on also, guys. So I go to church. I am going to go to church for Easter Sunday, mm -hmm. as well as for Good Friday and 
as well as Palm Sunday. Those are my days that I usually yeah. find myself into church. Mm -hmm. Lana went to church with me a couple times also. It did. It was nice. Yeah. All right. So let's continue with all the good stuff in the kitchen here. Girl power. Coming in one by one, Alana is making Alana is making you guys here for it. What is she making? So it's nothing better than leaving to work, <laughs> coming back home for your daughter to make dessert. And I think you're showing them some bike and showing them bike and show and grandma making roti. All women power today. We're all in the kitchen. One of this guy's favorite. I know. You don't when see I, him, you don't see him too much. That's why Anthony, you flex him up, Anthony. Hercules, <laughs> come on to what, 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 what? <laughs> He just fought <fired. laughs> These characters are always funny in this kitchen. So, guys, Alana, if you guys didn't realize, she's making cinnamon rolls today. Oh, we're gonna nice. do some in um, green, right, Alana? Yeah. Some we're gonna do some in, in green. Oh, you're St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day. Yeah. Oh, yes. Nice. Can't wait. Yes. All yes. Right. So let's. Can't wait to see. All right. So you're off to work. Yep. I want to know which girlfriend you're carrying. Your love for whatever. What's your name? Bal Peter. Balcaran. Peter Balcaran. You said the man name wrong. <laughs> all right guys so right. look forward for some dessert and some nice food later on flex it one more time now give it to us give it to us Anto. come on <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm gonna add in all my dry ingredients into the mixer nobody saw that nobody saw you wasting half of your grandmother's here two dollars you waste there lana <laughs> Don't play with a Chinese grandma. <laughs> One grain of rice, two dollars. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add in two eggs, but you have to whisk it. So that's the two eggs that you had out at room temperature for like a half an hour. Mm -hmm. you took it out, right? Yeah. And you melted the butter here? Yes, for 30 seconds. So this is gonna go into the milk mixture or you're gonna add everything just? Um, but I add everything in right now. Okay, so you don't add any sugar or anything into the eggs, right? No. Okay. Because there's sugar already in the dry ingredients mm -hmm. and there's sugar in the yeast. Okay, you add some in the yeast? Yeah. <laughs> okay, in the east, not the west. <laughs> so, okay, so the two beaten two eggs went egg. in with the sugar mixture. And then soften butter. You could use uh, your dispatcher to clean. Oh, take the, take the fork because yeah, everything fork. is incorporated. Just scrape it out from the bowl. Mm -hmm. Lana has to clean up while she uses her dishes. Something Aunt Diana taught her since she's thrown me out of the kitchen. I mean, if you say so. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add in the yeast with the. Bloom, no, the bloomed yeast from, with the milk, right? Yes. Okay. And a little bit of sugar in here. Okay. It smells like bread. Mm hmm. Did the yeast bloom? Um, yeah, you know when it blooms, but in the top part of it is foaming a little bit. It gets a little foamy, right? Yeah, that's something I learned mm -hmm. the first time I made this. Okay. Alana's cinnamon is actually better than, than cinnamon, I should say. <laughs> a cinnamon rolls, I should say. That's a big compliment. It's really Thank good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And then we're just going to mix it all up. Okay. And again, using the bread attachment, all right? Yes. And now we're gonna start mixing it for about, I wanna say like five minutes. Well, until everything comes together, right? Um, yeah, we put it a little higher. A dough. So you didn't add in the mixed essence? Right? No, yeah, not you didn't add it yet. at the end? Yeah, but I added in like two minutes while into while this is. Filled. Into mixing? Yeah. Okay. You can add it whenever you want, but. See how nice it's coming together with the attachment? Now I'm just gonna add in a tablespoon, just one tablespoon. One tablespoon of the mix. Mm -hmm. Can you do? Can you use any other essence, or yeah, usually you use? Because I have mm -hmm. almond, I have pear essence, but you can you, use any. Um, okay. But I like the mix essence. Yeah. Okay. 
But whatever you use is to give it a nice flavor, so. Continue mixing until everything again is well incorporated. It has, has already started to all come together nicely. And then, how long do you leave it to rest, Alana? Oh, yeah, you need it to rest for about an hour 30 minutes to an hour. Okay, so oh, you yeah. put it like in a bowl yeah. and just cover it and leave it. And then you have to decoup it? Yeah. And put it back again to. After the rolls are made, then you let it sit again for another 30 to 40 minutes. Poof up. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So Alana is spraying a bowl with a yep. little non-stick spray. For the dough, so right. sticking as used to. And it was like five minutes, this dough came together mm -hmm. really nicely. Less than five minutes. Right. Even. You can clean off the hook and you can take out. Do your stuff, baby. <laughs> <clears throat> so you got to knead this a little more. I'm going to knead it with my hands a little bit, like uh -huh. not even a lot. And I'm gonna just throw it in the bowl and let it rise. Do you have to shape it like in a, a bowl yeah. bag and fix it? Okay, and then it's gonna go into the, the bowl over here and she's gonna cover it and put it in a warm place, right? For it to mm -hmm. rise. Work those arm muscle, girl. <laughs> this is good to get your angry ass on the dough. <laughs> Plus, you're gonna be building some more arm muscles, as you said, right? You don't have to go to the gym today. No. No gym today. This is your workout here. All right, Alana is gonna continue kneading this and set it into the bowl to rest. And I'm gonna make my way outside to do right my bike and show guys already. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we're just gonna uh, cover this with saran wrap and let mm -hmm. it rise. Okay. Some oil roti. How much do you think that makes? About 20 small ones. Mm. Yeah, to be made the best oil roti here. Nice little fluffy oil roti. Square roti. So you guys want to do square little roti. I could make the wrong one, but I prefer make the square. Because you're accustomed making yes. the square, right? But that, that I think is better. It gives you like the layers, right? Right. The yes. fluffy layers of roti. Mm. nice and thin and small. And on, I go eat about five. Ricky go eat about ten. Excuse me. <laughs> Since you're not um, fasting today, Lana, you're gonna get down. No, I am fasting. Oh, you fasting today? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When you break fast, you'll have a big appetite. Oh gosh. All of our condiments and uh, stuff is cut up here for the bag and choker. It's roasting outside. And baby is needing her flour here for the roti. So you gotta let this sit now to be the flour to uh... for a while. Mm -hmm. and then you don't start... put oil in the in the flour. No, no, I okay. don't put that. Well, so what I... do you have here? You have flour, a pinch of salt, a pinch of sugar, mm -hmm. and less the baking powder. Than because you're making uh, um, salad roti. Oh, okay, salad roti. You use a little more, right? Yeah, a little more right. flour. Um, sorry, a little more the baking powder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna need a like sit to raise for like what about an hour, hour and a half, an hour. Mm -hmm. and then when you you have to um oil out your, your roti and you put it to soak again. Right. Okay. And then you make it sit for a while again. Then you start cooking. Then you start to cook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lana, so you have some strong arms that make roti. Yeah, man. Big big muscles. Big muscles. <laughs> she used her muscle this morning, so she used her muscle this morning with um. Warm water. For the dough, for the cinnamon roll, so you're doing the roti and I'm going to be doing the bygone choker. Yeah. Alright, let me go back outside and see my bygone before they all burn up outside there. <laughs> Bygones have been cooling down here. They are well roasted. I'm going to start opening them up with a spoon actually. So, see how nice they're roasted, so I'm going to start opening all of them, taking out the flesh, and then I'm going to chunky the flesh back with some hot oil. See, the steam is still coming on. I want it to cool a little more. But they roast beautifully. They're very young, very little seed. The bygone seed in here. The garlic, everything roasted really nice in here. Olive oil, all of my condiments or aromatics are gonna go in. I'm gonna mash it and chunky again with some hot oil. We have the mayor, Mr. Aiden. He's not gonna have some breakfast. What are you gonna have, bud? I'm gonna have. Mommy some... made you what? Some eggs and 
some toast. toasted croissant. Mm -hmm. So, mommy, you hmm? know what this Biden choker needs? What it needs? Some hot, nice roadie girl. Some roadie? Ooh, we'll make some roadie. Grandma is making some roadie. Yeah. It's roti boy. We're gonna make some nice small oil roti to go with this. Yeah. How much roti are you going to eat? Use a roti like mouth. Three. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you like bygone choker too, right? Yeah. See how nice the bygone choker? I'm gonna mash it there now. Looks good, right? It smells nice, right? Yeah. You know, you got the aroma since so you came in the kitchen. Alright, go have your breakfast and stuff, baby, and I'll finish up here with my bygone choker, okay? Okay, and Alana is gonna start rolling out her so now she's making some buns for you guys so she's gonna start rolling them out now the okay. dough has been resting for like an hour and a half all right, all right go eat them all right, bye. bye so the dough has been resting for about an hour and a half maybe a little more and I started kneading it already so now I'm about to roll it out I can this a lovely pastry here I'm gonna put some flour on it mm -hmm. And some flour in the dough. So you don't make it back into a bowl, you just roll it out and yeah. it doesn't have to be again it's it's homemade, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but it usually but comes out really nice. It's, it's me and I'm making it. It's gonna be perfect. Speak about vanity. <laughs> Instead of vanity was a person, you and your dad. <laughs> And she's gonna be making um, the cinnamon rolls in our iron skillets. I have two iron skillet here. Yep. They cook so nice in the in the skillet. It's so big. Yeah. Um, and these cinnamon rolls, this recipe, it makes about twelve to fifteen. Mm -hmm. Um, I also got the recipe from TikTok. TikTok has everything. So, I think the website is in the Bloom's Bakery. If not, I'll put in the description what the website is. So my dough is all done up. That's a big roti there, Lana. Yeah, <laughs> bust up shot. Yeah, that, that looks like a bust up shot. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. now I'm gonna make the cinnamon filling. Okay. So, I normally eyeball the filling. I don't measure. Mm -hmm. So first we're gonna do some brown sugar. I was about to say that thing that it was brown so sugar, right? <laughs> if if he was here, he would start dancing and singing brown sugar. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty big roll. Yeah, so and then you gotta be generous with it. Yeah, and I'll add some butter. The butter has to be soft so it could mix properly. Okay. Oh my god, I almost broke your bowl. Hmm? almost broke your bowl. Okay. And I'm gonna mix this up. And when everything mixes up, I'm gonna add in some of the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of salt. And if this the filling is too thick, you could add some heavy cream. So it could be more easier to lather it all over. So this. do you usually add the heavy cream? I sometimes add it too, even if the filling is good. Okay. That might give it like a nice, um, like, what do you, what a word, like soft, I guess it yeah. makes it softer, more yeah. decadent, I should mm -hmm. say. Okay. A full filling bite. Okay, so you're going to add in cinnamon next in this, right? Yeah, I'm going to add some more butter to this, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to add some cinnamon, a pinch of salt, and the heavy cream. Alright, and the salt is for, just to bring out like the taste? Yeah. Okay. Alright, mix away. <laughs> so this is the filling. Um, you just, you know. Let you all with your eyes. So and you're eyeballing everything, and again, it's sugar, butter, cinnamon, and a little of the heavy cream. Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks like a, a chocolate pudding. Like yeah, mousse. it's like a mousse. Yeah, it does. And the roll is the dough is rolled to about like half an inch. I want to say thick. Mm -hmm. You can roll however thick you want, but I think a half inch to an inch is the best. And then after all this is spread out, I'm gonna sprinkle some salt on top. Just a little. Just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's very decadent. Yeah. And if it's not enough, you could always mix back some more. If you need like more of the filling. Yeah, so you roll it all the way, all, 
all the way over the um the dough right mm -hmm. as much as you can as spread much. it out yeah okay and then you're gonna roll it into like a log and then cut it yes okay and meanwhile while lana is doing her little cinnamon rolls there there's our beautiful bagan choker i have some oil that's heating up here and i'm gonna add in all of my condiments that i have cut up over there i'm gonna add it onto the bag and choker while the oil is hot in here i'm gonna chunk it and then grandma will start her roti <laughs> Our bag and choker is all finished here, waiting for some nice roti. Meanwhile, Lalana is ready to roll it, baby. <laughs> yeah, this is the part I'm always nervous for, but uh -huh. you just need to trust your heart and trust yourself and you could just roll it. You're confident, you'll be, you'll do fine. Cause they usually come out really good. Yeah. So you tuck and roll. Yep. And tuck the ends and just roll it. I think the, the silicone mat also, the pastry mat should help you to do so easily. Yeah. And the ends will like, they're not f filled with the cinnamon filling, mm -hmm. and that's okay because it still tastes good as a dough itself. And but, but I think like maybe um I don't know I'm just asking because you usually make the cinnamon roll even at the end it hasn't been like pushed all the way when it when like it it um rises again and in the pan doesn't spread out the cinnamon will spread yes, out throughout yes. the so, entire dough right? As I say, it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Again, it's homemade. We're making. It's rustic. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to homemade be better. Like. It's fine, yes. Homemade. And, and then, it usually comes out really delicious anyway, so. Yeah, and then when I cut it, um, a lot of the filling also comes out too. So I just smear it like all Smear it all over, over like with the icing. Yeah. Okay, so by rolling here now, then you're gonna cut it. You roll into the log and then you pull it and cut it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's it. Let's go okay. cut it now. Cut it and put it into the skillet right yeah and this is gonna sit again to um rise a little bit more get more bigger yeah how how long do you do it for? for about 30 to 40 minutes okay I'd and say. then we put it what, what do you what temperature do you bake this at i believe at 365 365 okay. for how long 40 minutes okay all right guys there's our log our cinnamon log. log all right she's gonna cut it out and put it into the skillet And in the midst of everything, look who's on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ricky is calling to check how the cinnamon rolls are coming. They're coming, Ricky. They're coming along. Yes, yes. This is something you got to do very often. Make sure you guys are keeping on top of your game, you know? We are keeping on top of our game. We know you're keeping on top of yours, but we're waiting with your appetite to eat. <laughs> and tell me, wait, as we have you on the phone, tell the folks, you need them playing by gun choker. What do you want with this by gun choker? Something gotta go with this by gun choker. Oh, wait, we say again, we gotta get some Bombay with it. All right, so it's either maybe a can of mackerel or maybe some salmon. Something sweet tooth. Salmon, maybe salmon or a can of mackerel. I'll try yeah. it to go with it. All right, have a good day All at right. work. Bye, have Bye. a good day. Bye. Bye. finish holding them out and I got a shot game 16 cinnamon rolls and we got it to fit in the big mm -hmm. the large skillet um I cut them with a the knife but I know that you cut got a, a neater cut with floss if oh it's floss you can use yeah. the floss oh okay you just tie a knot and you pull the strings and it cuts in but it looks good again it's rustic yeah. we're making it homemade it and i'm sure when it puffs up and stuff it looks really good mm -hmm. there so now i'm just gonna add some heavy cream mm -hmm. just a little bit because then i'm also gonna add back again before i put it in the oven after it rises okay so you just drizzle like a little all over yeah and you're gonna cover this with uh some saran wrap mm -hmm. And, and set it to rest it. again for how long? Like about 45 minutes. Okay, for it to poof up again and then you mm -hmm. put it in the oven. And you're going to mm -hmm. add back again, you said some heavy cream. Yep. Okie doke. You want to pull out the saran wrap at the same time? Alright, let's get wrapping. <laughs> so, the bag and choker is finished. 
Alana cinnamon roll is rising for the second time. It's in a warm spot there. We're gonna put it into the oven soon. I'm sitting for a few minutes and I have a very special shout out and birthday greeting to do. So today is my dear friend, my sister, Debbie. Happy birthday, my dear. Today is Debbie's birthday. All right, March 20th, the first day of spring. Hey, how can life get better, right? Happy birthday, my dear. Much love, much happiness, and the best of health for many more blessed years. And we love you. You've truly been a really dear friend to us, your, your a sister to me, I should say, more than family. All right, so much, much love again and happiness coming from my family to you. We hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, and exciting and enjoyable day. All right, hope you're doing something fun on this spring-like day because again it's the first day of spring all right so we're gonna start soon with the roti gram we're gonna come on the kitchen to throw down her oil roti for our bike and choker that's sitting right over there meanwhile i'm enjoying a little water Baby, start off with your roti. Yeah, give them a little half of them and then they go eye them on. Okay, how much do you think you might get it? That looks like more than 20 roti. It looks so. <laughs> <laughs> but your roti is nice and small anyway, so yeah. and it doesn't, they don't last too long. <laughs> I know. You don't need to eat with butter, the butter and roti, hot roti alone. That's why you have when you put the butter. Mm -hmm. It tastes good. All right, so you're making them first into the little loaves, and then and you're going to roll it out and put the oil. Right. And then we have a foil pan here, guys. We're going to put it to sit and let it rest for... How long are you leaving it to rest for? Like one three-quarter an hour now. 45 minutes or so. Mm -hmm, yeah. And then you'll start making right. the roti. So Alana said the bun is finished, the bygone choker is finished. We're waiting on this nice hot roti Ooh, now yeah. from this from this roti queen here. <laughs> <laughs> and see how nice and small she makes it, guys? These are nice roti. Ricky's always requests her to make oil roti. Her oil roti is the best. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna sit there. I'll show you guys the loys when she makes your nice little square roti. The, the loys are round, but they come out square. square. She makes it square. <laughs> All right, so I'll show you guys the loys. The loys gonna go into this foil pan and sit to cover and rest for about 45 minutes before cooking. So much roti, you're not getting out of it. 23 now. 23. Very small one though. Yeah, they say you don't make your roti too big. Mm -hmm. So we're rolling them out. I want to show you guys how she do the square shape. So the square again, the square shape gives it a lot of the, the flakiness, right? Like yes, layers. Yes. Okay. You sound like your square roti, you know. Yeah, he's no. actually to make, make his place the order. <laughs> you just do it very thin. Mm -hmm. And then we start now then. Yeah, okay there for me. Using vegetable oil, right? Just yes. vegetable oil. Okay. You don't sing when you're making your roti, anything? Sometimes. So Sometimes. usually when you sing, you don't ask if you're hungry. If I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to sprinkle a little flour inside. Yeah, the dry flour. We yeah. do that too when we make the boss of the shot. Right, right. And now I'm going to fold up. it. Okay. So this is what creates the um, layers, right? Right. So you'll see one two there we go finish one down 22 more roti to go <laughs> so then here to rest for like let me say about an hour or something yes. mm -hmm. okay let's check in this roti situation and see what's going on here Ooh, we got the full full house here lana you make it on roti yeah i got one have some, have some help in here. Okay, so that's good. You gotta learn to make roti, yes? Yeah, she getting big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, she's helping a lot in the kitchen anyway. How many we done roll out already? Three, mm -hmm. six, nine, twelve, fourteen. Uh, I think in all, how, how much? It's like 23, 23 roti. 23, 23 loads she got. Okay. Her grandma gonna do her best when she starts clapping them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, again, that's where the layers come. Look at the nice little square roti. Mm -hmm. Like little pillows. Mm-hmm. How much? If the daddy not around, the son around here. He only waiting to see you to eat, right? Yeah. 
yeah. Yeah, you like roti and butter. You're gonna have grandma roti and butter. Yeah. You're gonna have some bag and choker. Yeah, mm -hmm. about three. About three. Yeah, you see that before, you're gonna have about three roti. I'm gonna make a can of mackerel probably for your dad. So I just put the cinnamon rolls into the oven and now while that's baking at 350 for 30 minutes, I'm gonna make the cream cheese frosting. So I have a little tube, tube, right? Tub. Tub. Tube. <laughs> you got a tube there. Cream cheese. Mm -hmm. That's a, a pound, pound of cream pound. cheese, 16 ounces. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Put in the whole tube of okay, Tiana. <laughs> the cream cheese. Don't waste any again. Mm -hmm. I make sure your cream cheese is nice and soft. Yes, yes at room temperature. Yes. So you had it all from this morning sitting out anyway, right? Yep. Alright. And, and then I'm gonna have mm -hmm, go I'm gonna add some confectionery sugar, powdered mm -hmm. sugar. Powdered sugar right here and some mixed essence. Yep. So you don't add any heavy cream or anything to this, right? If you want to, you could, but I'm not because I don't you have don't heavy use... cream right. in the cinnamon rolls. Okay. And I'm not measuring, well I am, but I'm not measuring like to a T of how much of everything I'm adding in. Well, that's a cup measurement you have there, right? What uh, a what is quarter, it? Yeah, a, quarter, a quarter. A quarter cup? Yeah. Right, okay. And, and 16 ounces of cream cheese so mm -hmm. far. I'm just going to add and mix as I go. And then when everything's together, I'm gonna add um, the essence. Okay. So it has to be basically um, not like a runny consistency. No. Not but just but soft enough to be spreadable on the yeah. the hot um, rolls when they come out, right? Yeah, because when you t when I take it out, <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'll put this on like five minutes after, and it will melt by itself and it'll be because so of the heat. Good. Yep. Okay. Nice and gooey. Okay, so question here because we got 16 rolls in one pan. How many are you gonna do? You're gonna do half of the cinnamon rolls like in the green because I know you have the green food color oh, yes. in here. And you have a, a little bowl that you're gonna take out some of the the cream cheese mixture here to yeah. put, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll do, I think, 10, mm -hmm. try the 10 plain and then six green. Okay, all right. Get green. Okay. So we we'll just do it in the skillet and then we could always put it on a, a platter afterwards, right? Mm -hmm. When it cools down. Yeah. I want one when it's hot out of the oven, however, because I like it when it's nice and hot. But if you have a green one, you have to Irish dance. Nobody. You're making this here. You're going to Irish dance here <laughs> with your unicorn slipper. Do the, do the foot movement. Let's see the oh, unicorn. Foot movement. <laughs> the foot movement, right. Are you going to put any sprinkles on it? We have green sprinkles now. Uh, yeah, I can put some on the green ones. Yeah, we have green ones. So I'll take it and I'll, I'll take it down and get it ready for you, okay? okay thank you. Okay. Now it's done. So I'm going to take it out. Time to reveal these babies. Oh, smell that. It smells good, yeah. Ooh, I love. In the bun, bun, in the bun, bun. <laughs> All right, so this has to pull long on, and then you're gonna glaze it. Yes. Okey dokey. Mm, smells the aroma. <laughs> All the goodness bubbling over there. All right. Good long is working her leprechaun looking magic here with her green. <laughs> you mean frosting? So, guys, the yeast. Um, I kind of had explained it to me before, but I think the, I warmed up the milk too much and the yeast didn't get to bloom. Yeah, so when you, um, when you, no, when you're using yeast, like, to mm -hmm. make anything, and if the liquid, say, if you're using water, like, in this case, you use milk, yeah, and it's too hot, it kills the germ. It's like, the germ, like, in the yeast, it yeah. kills it. So that's, I think, what happened. They still came out delicious, but... It's supposed to be, I think, a little more yeah. lighter. Not, it's, it looks a little more dense. Only because the camera's on me today, it didn't come out um, mm -hmm. as big and fluffy as they normally she's do. She's making her big do debut, making her own dessert. <laughs> so she's a little nervous. She's trying to tell you guys. But I feel like they'll still taste good. They will. They will, I'm sure. You have Aiden come just now and try them. Aiden is going to be the guinea pig? Yes. 
He likes cinnamon rolls. You should be the guinea pig. No, I'm not gonna have any <laughs> right now. You can just put like some more. You still have extra, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, we have the roti queen over here. That's right. <laughs> Let's see you start clapping the ant, baby. Mm -hmm. No dabla. No dabla. No. Mm -hmm. No Trini style, Guyana style. But look at Grandma t shirt. I know, no Trini style, but she's wearing a Trini t shirt. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't use our hands like literally our hands to. I, I can never do this like with my hands. Like, uh, do you have a custom like doing it with the hands, like the clap road, do you think? A lot of people say shake it up in the mug. Yeah, I see a lot of people do it with the mug mm -hmm. too, right? To get it like the, um, to, to get it flaky. We use the dabla as everybody sees. Like when I cook roti, I have the dabla that I use. So look, watch your magic here with this roti and the baby's doing. See my roti? Oh, nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One down, 23 to go. 22. 22. Oh, yeah, 23 altogether, right? Mm -hmm. Then we'll be eating some, uh huh. Then we'll be eating some baigan choker. And nice hot oil roti. So Eden and I are going to be two little guinea pigs here today now to try these delicious cinnamon, cinnamon rolls. rolls. All right, go ahead, Eden. <laughs> when dad is not around, Eden usually tackles. It's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Thumbs up, Lana. Thank you. Alright, so we'll be enjoying this for dinner, but we just want to try one when it's hot and it comes out the oven, it's the best time to try it. Here you go. Thank you. Okay folks, everything's finished now officially. I am now going to enjoy some of this food. So take a look at my plate over here, or my bowl, I should say. So I have our delicious bison choco over here. My mother-in-law made some okra and shrimp, a little left over there. That's my kind of food right there. And our beautiful and soft little oil roti that she made. So I'd like to take this opportunity. Thank you guys for spending this time with us here in my kitchen and backyard again. Thank you for um, you know, tuning in to see Alana made her cinnamon rolls, which came out wonderful also. All of the beautiful little roti and the baigan choka. And I would also like to thank everyone again. We have officially crossed over 3,000 subscribers. Again, we could not have done this without you guys. So thank you so much for joining us weekly again in our home with my family and I. Um, it's much, much appreciated. And... We are going to do a live soon. I will put it up on my YouTube channel when we're going to go live as well as my Facebook page. I will put a notification up, guys. So please stay tuned. And um, again, many thanks. If you haven't, please like and subscribe to Anna's Kitchen. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.